What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about the Revit Mechanical Certification Preparation. So in this video, we are now going to move on to documentation. So we are done with the modeling part. So this time, let's discuss about the documentation. First, with working with our view templates and visibility graphic overrides. Okay, so we're going to learn how to adjust view settings apply and assign view uh, templates okay so let me just zoom in here to this area and in our view control bar so this is our view control bar below so this is our view control bar you can also go to your uh, properties palette okay so here on our properties palette or view control bar, we can adjust the detail level. And I want you to pay attention to how it affects uh, ductwork and piping. So this is the detail level. So if I'm going to select this one, the first one here is course. So if I select the course here, so what will happen? So you will notice the course uh, detail level it changes the duct and pipe to single line okay so i want you to uh, be aware on what is going on as you change the detail level so if i change this to medium okay so what happens is the duct becomes double line and then the pipe becomes single line okay so as you can see that's our pipe so let me zoom in there and then let me change this back to course so it's single line same with your duct single line as well so if i change that to medium your duct is becoming double line but your pipe is still single line now if i change this to fine so that's the only time that it will returns back to double line your pipe and then your duct okay now when view settings are not available you can check the view template in our properties palette. So if I'm going to move the slider down here, so you can see here view template. Okay, so currently the view template that is applied here on my project is mechanical plan. So what is view template? So if I go to the view tab, so here you can see the definition. So view template, so it creates, edits, or applies standardized settings to views. A view template is a collection of view properties such as view scale, discipline, detail level, and visibility settings that are common for a view type. So we use the view templates to standardize settings for views in a project. So basically, this is one of the things that you need to set up when starting your project. So you need to set up your uh, view template. So take note that when a view template is assigned, it will control the view settings. So therefore, the settings will be unavailable. Okay? So if I'm going to select that, as you can see there, the apply one here is a uh, mechanical plan. So if I select here, uh, apply, and then okay. So it's now applied there. So if I click this one, so there's the course. So as you can see, there's the coarse, medium, and then there's the fine. Okay, so like what I have said earlier, when a view template is assigned, it will control the view settings. So therefore, the settings, this view control bar here will become sub unavailable. But why is it I was still able to change the detail level? So if I'm going back to the view template here and see the mechanical plan, so you will notice here the detail level medium here is unchecked so it is not included to the view template that's why i was able to change the view template here on my view control bar but if i'm going to apply this i'm going to check that okay and then i'm going to select here okay so you will notice it now becomes medium and if i click this one i cannot modify my detail level here why because it is now being controlled by the view template that is applied currently on my view so if i click this one so mechanical plan you can see that the detail level here is checked that means it's included to the 
view template. So I cannot control that from the view control bar, but I can control the view settings from the view template, from the mechanical plan view template, for example. So as you can see, the scale here is also unchecked. So meaning to say, I can change the scale here. See, I can change the scale. But if I'm going to include that to the mechanical plan view template, if I check this one, and then I select here, OK. So this scale will apply to this view. So 1 8 inch to 1 foot, it will replace this value. So look, if I select here, OK. There you go. So it's now changed. And if I click this, I cannot change any of the scale here. Why? Because my view scale is now being controlled by the view template. Okay? So let me just go back and uncheck this and then uncheck this to put it back to its default settings for my mechanical plan and then I'll just select your OK. All right. Okay. So going back to my uh, view template here, so I'm going to click the mechanical plan. Okay. So as you can see for my mechanical plan view template, so my annotation here is controlled by the view template analytical the import is being controlled by view template but the model here is not being controlled the visibility graphics override it's not being controlled so that's why let me um, select here okay and let's open up the visibility graphic overrides so let me click this or you can also type vv as a shortcut for visibility graphic overrides click that so as you can see i can change here the visibility graphic overrides for model categories. So I can uncheck and uncheck the visibility of the 3D model. But if I go to the annotation categories, you will notice that I cannot control this. I cannot control this. I cannot control this. Why? Because as you can see here on our uh, mechanical plan, it is being controlled by the view template. Okay, so aside from that, another uh, important thing that you need to uh, see here is the view range. So the view range here is not being controlled by mechanical plan. So the view range, if you click the edit here, so you can change the view range. You can change the top, the cut plane, the bottom, and then the view depth here. So if you have no idea what is this view range, this is very important This because this is the one, this is one of the things that controls the visibility of your elements in your view. So if you have any or if you don't have any idea, you can click show here and then there's a explanation here. Okay, or you can also click this link here to open up more about the view range. Okay. So the view range, since it's not being controlled by the mechanical plan here, the view template, so you can access that here on your uh, properties palette. Okay? Right. So let me just go back to the visibility graphic overrides. So let me click this. And then let's see the filters. The filter here is not controlled by the... Uh, view template that's why we are able to modify this okay so let's say for example you want to add a filter okay you can click here edit new or you can modify the current filter here so you can turn off the filter you can turn on and off the visibility or you can create a new one okay you can click that and then you can create your own filter here so when you create a filter, you create first, specify the name, and then specify what category that that particular filter will control. And then you can specify here the filter rules. Okay, so aside from that, from the visibility graphic overrides, so we know the model categories, it controls the 3D model. So we have the annotation, it controls the annotation of the model, analytical model imported categories and filters revit links revit links will only appear in your uh, visibility graphic overrides if there is a link in your project 
if there is no link in your project you will not be able to see the revit links here so right now i have the architectural link file here that's why i have the revit links here so again i can control the visibility here like uncheck that link and then okay there you go so it's now hidden all right so let me just go back there revit links check so if you have a work set in your project you will be able to see another tab here which is the work sets okay and then i'll just select your apply here to show again my architectural link after i check it apply there you go and then okay all right so for your exercise so i want you to explore more about your visibility graphic uh, override although it's not that difficult so you only have here a uh, few tabs and it's easy to understand like what is the lines patterns transparency the cut here and also your view template so view template this is very important to your project when you set up so I just want you to be familiarized with your view template and visibility graphics override because this is part of your examination so hopefully you have something uh, you have learned something from this uh, overview for the view template and uh, visibility graphics override so thank you for watching guys have a nice day